doing out of true reviews and today we are doing a skincare review um this is the eliza becca how poor vitamin brightening peeling gel okay <laughs> so we if you're not familiar with eliza becca they made this um the bubble bubbling foaming mask which was really popular popular a couple years ago um i'm really itchy because i'm kind of sunburnt yes i know i should put on more sunscreen i'm aware all right so this retails for about um, $14.50 on Amazon. I actually wrote it on my wrist, <laughs> FYI. Uh, and it's about five ounces in this tube. The packaging on these products is always super adorable. I mean, like you can't, you just, I mean, look at it. Like it's so strange. Like look, they're like li lifting all the dirt off of the face. You open it up, look at the lettering, looks very much like Disney lettering and you pull it out and it, like the whole thing, it's a presentation, like we're talking, they got it down. And then the tube is also adorable. Um, so this product, when I got it, I did get this free for review. Um, this is a peeling gel, but it doesn't peel, okay? So that's the first weird thing. Um, I have used a lot of their products and I really like them. This one is, it's an average product. I think if you want something that's really cute to display, this is gonna be something you want if you're into this very fun kind of image. Um, as far as the actual effects, I don't know. So, here are the directions for use. Take proper amount and spread evenly throughout the entire face. Massage gently. When the gel is tight, rinsing with tepid water. So here's the other thing. Um, when you put this on, it comes out, it does come out as a gel. Okay, so there it is. And I did review this on my blog already. So I will link to that below. It has a lemon, like, and I when I say lemon, I mean lemon scent. Okay, now you're gonna put this on your skin and it is gonna get tight. Um, I'm gonna show you. The thing is, when you go to rinse it off, see what ha like this? If you rub it, it gets like, it pills, which is kind of weird. But when you let it dry down, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. It doesn't rinse off, like it took me forever to get it off and if you have sensitive skin um you, you don't want to rub your like i can't be rubbing my skin because all i do is make it red you know what i mean like that's what happens so that's an iffy um this does have some good ingredients that i really like it has some other ingredients that i find a little questionable so we'll go through this water obviously it's number one carbomer a lot of these are things that they're not actually for the skin they're more for the uh this suspension like they keep the gel a gel they they're bonding or emulsifying or whatever um i'll t go through the ones that i don't like so much uh stertrimonium methosulfate glycerin isopropyl alcohol phenoxyethanol that's your first that is the one two three four five sixth ingredient and it's a preservative and it's not exactly like the an ideal sixth ingredient. You know what I mean? Like a preservative that high up in the ingredients is like, you know, that's just extra chemicals we don't need. There's PEG 60, hydrogenated castor oil, citrus or lemon fruit oil, which is what's giving it the scent. So that means the scent is natural, which is good. Like we don't want fake fragrance. That's a real oil scent, um, which is okay. Allantoin, which is a uh, moisturizer, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, uh, Tridesif 10. I went through all these in my review and I kind of, I went to EWG, which is a database. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you can go there and you can check any ingredient in your products and they will tell you what they're used for and their toxicity levels. Um, so that's a good thing to know. Most anything that you're gonna be putting on your skin is you're not allowed to have a toxicity above a certain amount. Um, things that do fall into those categories are things that like uh, mineral oils and stuff like that where you're having reproductive harm or something you know what I mean um, so like the preservatives in this are usually a four which means if you ingest it or eat it you can it can cause you know toxicity all right cetrimonium chloride butylene glycol propylene glycol sus oh so the cetrimonium chloride is another preservative that's high up on the list it's a little too high for a preservative in my opinion um but that's okay uh i'm sure i use plenty of products that i haven't looked at this closely <laughs> you know Sasoria involucrata extract this is a really good um what was i gonna say 
when I was looking through the ingredients right before I made this video, I was like, oh, I want to talk about that. And now I can't remember. But a lot of these have really nice, like there's chamomile flower extract, um, this uh, lilium candidum bulb extract. So, I mean, you do have a lot of good ingredients. Um, it's just the levels of preservatives in it is very, it seems a lot to me. Um, so there is a caution on here and I don't know exactly what it means. It says when using or after use of the side effects such as clinical stigmata, stigmata, isn't that like the um, hands and feet thing? Um, swelling or itching appear on skin by direct sunlight, consult a doctor. Do not use on open wounds, eczema or dermatitis, storage and healing precautions, keep it out of the reach of children, store room temperatures and out of direct sunlight, use, voice, use avoiding around eyes. When the particles enter the eyes, do not rub them and wash with water. If the particles remain intact, consult a doctor. That's crazy. Um, but with, I mean, this is a, a product made in Korea. So most of the in, this stuff is in Korean. They do have the English side as well. Um, so here it is dried down, right? So you almost have like this layer of blurring. It's crazy. And then you rub it and you can't even see it anymore. Like you know it's there because it feels tight. Like you can kind of see it dry down and it's crazy. And then when you wash it though, it just stays. I don't know if there's a special way to get this off or I'm doing it wrong. I'm not kidding. It's crazy. Um, so I don't, if you have, if you can like mess with your skin in this sort of a way, if you can rub your skin, you don't have really sensitive skin like I do. This might be a good product for you. If you have sensitive skin, I would shy away from this. Um, it does have some good ingredients. Like I said, it, it does have like vitamin E and all this stuff and it does when it's off, your skin is left feeling anew. Um, but it's a lot of work to get there. Um, I think this is one that if you like really cute packaging, you're gonna like this product too. If you like to like have the whole lineup and see your cute little products. Um, but for me, I don't know that this is the best product for my skin. Um, so I will link down below to my full review. I'll also link to them um, with an affiliate link if you're interested in checking that out. Um, as always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.